I think I'm up and raring to go. I think. How are you all? Welcome to Jan's Reviews live streaming. Tonight we're going to talk about, what are we going to talk about? Britain's Got Talent, EastEnders, and Eurovision! <laughs> hello everybody! Hello to Brandon and hello to Tam. Did you watch Eurovision? Do you know, I'm all flustered. I had, hi Claire, oh you watch the BAFTAs, oh right, okay, she's going to finish off watching the BAFTAs before she comes on, that's alright Claire, we don't mind, I'm all of a fluster because my eldest son paid me a visit at 8 o'clock, luckily he didn't have very long to stay, but it sort of threw me all out. I wasn't able to get ready. I wasn't able to get prepared. <sighs> so this is me just quickly sort of doing something with my hair and putting makeup on. And this is me. Have you all had a good week? I hope you've all had a good week. I have, although as the Americans say, I think my allergies are playing up. I'm very nasally today and a bit tired. But I'm okay. Had a nice day. Let's sort the music out. Normally, you see, I'll have got all this sorted out beforehand, but I wasn't able because the boy arrived. <laughs> I tell you what, though. Hi, Rai. I tell you what, though. He makes me laugh. I have been laughing till I cried. He's just so funny. We were talking about bad drivers and um, myself and my team were just laughing our socks off. It was so funny. He's, oh God. So I'm a bit sort of, a bit breathless, a bit disorganised just for a change. But I'm looking forward to our little chat tonight. It's nice when we can get together and chat especially about things that we really like can you all start putting down who you liked this week on what we're we talking about um britain's got talent who did you like all oh, right so somebody went for a bike ride through the countryside, that's a lovely thing to do. Um, funnily enough, my son had come over to help my granddaughter ride a bike. So um, that's that's quite funny. I look great, do I? <laughs> Who's seen um, The Greatest Showman? I haven't seen that. Hi Ollie, hi Dwayne. I loved Alicia's golden buzzer. Oh my God. It actually got me all tearful. He was so good and he was such a nice guy and his story was so poignant. And I was delighted he got the golden buzzer. What's his name? Not Clifford. Lifford. Lifford. That was his name. What a charming, lovely man and so talented. That voice was incredible. When he first said which song he was going to sing, I was like, oh, no, really? But he sang it brilliantly. Oh, my God. I was knocked off my feet. Who else did you like on there? What did you think of the ma magician? I always stumble over that word. I don't know why. You know, the one who did the um, Rubik's Cube. What did you guys think of him? Oh, I forgot to put my life. Oh, good grief. 
I forgot to put my light on. That won't do. Sat in the darkness. The internet is saying that the golden buzzer is a fix. I can kind of understand that because Alicia did know that guy, didn't she? So I can kind of understand people saying that. Get over it. Who else did we like? I'm trying to think. I like the girls. I like the little girls. What were they called? The superheroes? Was it? Dancing superheroes or something? They were really cute. I really like them. Oh, so good. The best magic act is Ant and Dick. Are they a magic act? Oh, I didn't know they were a magic act. Brandon didn't like the Rubik's Cube guy. I thought it was good. I thought it was clever. Who else was on there? What's this? Tam saying these shows for people need a break. What shows? What shows? The man at the end. Who's the man at the end? Remind me. Remind me who the man on the end on the end or at the end was. I've forgotten. Oh, what about um <laughs> Beauty and the Beast? Did she get through? I can't remember whether they voted her through or not. It was it was really funny though because she could actually sing, but the beast couldn't sing. Oh my god! But you kind of felt sorry for her, and I think the audience felt sorry for her too because they were like applauding her. But the beast was rubbish. So did they go through? I don't think they did. You like the guy who who smashed the plates? Says Rye. Yeah, but you get that every weekend. You go to a, a Greek restaurant. There's nothing different about him, I think. I wasn't over enamoured by him. I look a bit like an Easter egg today. <laughs> I look like an Easter egg. I've got very few pictures of me as a baby. But I did have a picture of me. And I've lost it. And I literally look like an Easter egg. Because I had no hair, lovely brown skin, and I look like an Easter egg. I haven't changed much. Right, who else did we like? Okay, someone saying the beauty and the beast. Yeah, the woman who made horse noises. How weird was she? What did you think? Do you think she was worthy of going through? I think she was actually. She was really talented, wasn't she? A bit, it's a bit strange. Not something you see every day. But she was good. Those blowing horse noises were amazing. Barry was rude. Who's Barry? Am I too dark in here, guys? I look tired. Right, okay. Who's Barry? Barry was rude. Somebody's saying. Who else was on there, guys? Come on, keep up. I'm exhausted. <laughs> She's been laughing. Away. She came out all perfect and then did that. What? Who else did we have on there? We had the golden buzzer. We had the girls. Who else did we have on there, guys? Okay, Rye says most. Oh, the female singers who had a male voice. They weren't female, they were males. They came from the Philippines. But how amazing were they? 
I was like, I mean, they were blooming beautiful. Absolutely stunning. And then they opened them. And they were like, hi, let me come for the Philippines. And we would like to sing a song for you. And then they started. And, and it turned out they were all men. Quite amazing. They got through. But then what are they going to do second time around? Because they, everyone knows now, don't they? But they're men. See, I remember those French guys. Do you remember the French guys that did they dance in? Was it tap dancing? No, they danced in heels. They were incredible. Not this, not this series, but there was a series when they were on. Oh, someone's got his words mixed up. We've got Itsy Bitsy Spider. <laughs> Climbing up the spout. Don't think we really want this one, do we? Get off. We love riding horsey, horsey. Who else did we like? I'm trying to think who else was on there. Come on, guys. Let's sort this out. Who else was on there? I've forgotten. I've had so much trouble with my computer. Who bored you, Rye? The guy at the end. Who was the guy at the end? That wasn't Clifford, was it? Lifford? I bet Clifford, I mean, I bet Lifford was meant to be Clifford. But when he went to be registered, the mum probably couldn't go. So she says to the dad, can you go and register him? So they go, yeah, all right, I'll go and register him. Goes down there. So what would you like to call him? Oh, what was it? Uh, Cl uh, Lif uh, Lifford. That's the one, Lifford. So full of crap. Right, what am I looking for? I'm looking to see who else was on Britain's Got Talent because you guys aren't telling me more about who else is on there. <laughs> so it's the BAFTAs tonight. Has anyone been watching the BAFTAs? It's not my thing, has to be said. So who else was on? Um, what is this song? Don't we need to get rid of this one, don't you guys? Let's get rid of this one. It's all a bit dreary. What's this one? Oh, that one won't play. I like this one. <sighs> nice mellow tune. Right, so, apparently Deck went to the BAFTAs on his own. Well, he didn't. He went with his wife, but he didn't go with Ant. Just thought I'd throw that in. Right, okay. You guys aren't helping me very much, are you, by telling me who else you liked on Britain's Got Talent? All these stabbings that are going on everywhere, they're quite frightening, aren't they? Makes you not want to go out. God, I've got no right. Oh, yeah, I was going to say about my computer. I've got a Mac. And I've got this blooming virus on it. And I'm sure it's on the um, on Safari browser. So I think I'm going to have to download another um, browser. Maybe Firefox. Right, OK, I'll be with you in a minute. I'm just trying to see. <laughs> That's on Britain's Got Talent. Mm -hmm. 
Did you all agree with the golden buzzer? The golden buzzer choice. Who else was on there? Oh yeah, there were those. Oh, there was, was there a young boy on there? I can't remember him. This isn't helping me at all. I'm trying to look to see who else is on it. Or was on it. Magic Maddox. Was he the guy that did the um, the Rubik's Cube? Maddox. Magic Maddox. Britain's Got Talent saw Judge Alicia slam her golden buzzer for one very surprising contestant tonight as it turned out the pair not only already knew each other years ago but the singer also had a top 10 hit in the charts well yeah Lifford Schillingford. What do you think about that then? I do feel that this series is definitely better without all the silliness. I must admit, there have been other people that I thought would have got the golden buzzer. Not last night, but at other times. And I've been surprised that they didn't. But um, I think he was definitely... Um, he was definitely worthy of the golden buzzer. I thought he was really, really good. I liked him. I put some more music on, guys, but of course I can't find it now that I'm looking for it. I had um, one session where I put loads of new music on. That would be Adware. Have you downloaded any apps that are meant to automatically make storage by deleting junk? Quite possibly, Ollie. Um... I've tried, absolutely. Ella, Ella Hard was good. Yes, she was very good. That's a bit, that's a bit loud, it's getting on my nerves already. Um, hang on a minute, let me concentrate. I'm not doing very well today, am I? See, I'm all over the place now. Blame my son. Um, right, now what was I gonna say? Um, yeah, that young girl, the 15-year-old, Ella. Yes, I thought she was really good as well. I thought she was very good. Um, well, the problem is, um, Ollie, that when I... Do you know, have you, do you know anything about Max? Because this is a Mac. And basically what happens is when I sort of... Um, I'm sure it's a problem with the browser because when I click, say, from here and then go on to um, another page, another site, sometimes this crap will come up. And I've tried, I've gone into it. I doubt you have a virus. They're super difficult to catch. I have got one, unfortunately. And I've, I yesterday I spent a long time checking out uh, removal of um viruses on max on youtube and i did everything that they told me to do like going into safari preferences uh what else uh preferences deleting history and all sorts and i've still got it so that's that i know i have had wear protection but the apps that have it i really like 
Uh, okay. You know what that is, Ollie? What is it? Um, and I've also, what else? I, I've checked out the um, videos that tell you how to um, clean your Mac. I've done that. Don't worry, it's not a virus. Your default homepage has been changed. It hasn't, though, because I've checked. It says uh, google.com, but then there is, a, there is a, a slash after it. Should it have the slash after it? Because I checked that as well. Britain's Got Talent won a BAFTA. Okay. Don't worry, it's not a... Yeah, I, I checked that and I've gone into that and I've changed that as well. I've gone into Apple Preferences and I've changed that as well. Hang on, I just clicked on it now just so that I can tell you. And system preferences. I've gone into extensions, um, uh, security and privacy. That's the one I think. Um, hang on one moment. Privacy. Anyway, I, I'm not allowing it to... Um, to annoy me anymore now I'll do it another time I haven't changed uh, my password somebody sort of one of the webs one of the um, YouTubes said to change my password I haven't done that because I'm just a bit worried about doing that anyway I'm not gonna ramble on about that that's all a bit boring let's talk as we've we've sort of exhausted Britain's Got Talent in 20 minutes I bet none of you have watched it, have you? You're all rubbish. <laughs> none of you are watching it. I'm watching it myself. And I have to make sure I, I watch it before I come on here, because otherwise I wouldn't know what to talk about, would I? I'd be rubbish. Even more rubbish than I already am. Let's just say that. Right, now where's some of this music I got the other day? See if I can find it. I seem to spend a lot of my time on here looking for music. How annoying is that? It must be really annoying for you. I'm sorry. Right, we've got Ollie in, so we're going to have a bit of Strauss. Okay. Shall we talk about, before we get on to EastEnders, shall we talk about... um? Eurovision Song Contest. Who did you like? Okay, Ollie, you got to go for a bit. Am I buffering? See, I, th I think my... Um, oh, it says my stream health is okay. Yeah, that's a good idea, Ollie. Let's talk Euro Eurovision. My favourites were Lithuania, I liked. Hungary was awful. <laughs> it was dreadful, wasn't it? It was like heavy rock, but in Hungarian. So as if heavy rock wasn't bad enough, they were doing it in a foreign accent, in a foreign language. Bloody awful. Sorry, but it was. It didn't get many points. Yeah, the Israel song I thought was okay, but as, as somebody says there, it wasn't the best. It wasn't the best. This is the best. Hang on. Oh, no, no, that's that's the wrong one. Anyway, um, no, I didn't think it was the very best. but And I couldn't remember, you know, that um, Austria are in the lead for a long, long time. I couldn't even remember what their song was. I didn't think any, I didn't like the UK song. I'm sorry, but I didn't. 
I thought it was rubbish. And I know some guy came in in the middle, um, which was, you know, must have been awful for the girls singing. But um, I just didn't like the song. Not that I'm saying he should have come on because the song was crap. But I just didn't like the song. Who is she? I've never seen her before. But then I don't watch the semi-finals or anything. What did you all go? What what did you guys think? Who did you like? Who else did I like? I like the Israel one. Who else did I like? I'm gonna have to look at my tweets because that'll remind me because I was tweeting about it. Sorry, but I've got to put a bit of lipstick on. Let's see. Let me look at my tweets. Right, who who I liked and who I didn't like. Right. Who did I like and who didn't I like? On. There, right. Yeah, I think I was doing it on Jan SX, wasn't I? Right, who did I like on Eurovision? Well, none of you have told me who you like. Oh, you like Sarah? Yes, I agree with you there. I liked, I like Sarah, but I didn't like her song at all. I thought the song was really disappointing. God, she's got such a brilliant voice as well, and they give her some crappy song to sing. That's no good, is it? I felt a bit sorry for her, really. Right, um, I loved last year's um, winner. I loved him. And when he came on and sang his new song, I was like, oh, yes, I love it. I've actually got it on here somewhere. That's what I thought I was going to play to you a minute ago. But All right, hang on a minute. Let's see if I can find it. I forgot what it's called. Yeah, play a little bit of it. I love this. I love it. This was last year's winner. I just think the song is unbelievable. I have to stop now because otherwise I'll be like in trouble. But I love that song. I just love it, love it, love it. Oh, I, the Lithuanian one. I thought the girl had a really good voice. And I liked her song. I love the song. I love it. Right, hang on a minute. Do, 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 do. Who, did, who did you guys like? What did you think of the Irish one? Did you like it? I liked it, actually, and I didn't realise. When I was watching it, I didn't realise that it was, you know, the story was about two gay guys falling in love. Um, I didn't realise that. I thought they were just dancers. But I thought it was really lovely. And I'm very surprised that it was an Irish... Um, oh, what's the word? It was an Irish song. Admission. Is that the word I'm looking for? I think so. Because the Irish used to be very against homosexuality. I was married to an Irish man and he was like the most homophobic person you could ever meet. And I was oh. So 
I just thought that was really nice. Yeah, apparently China barred it. But China aren't in the um, Eurovision, are they? So what business is it of theirs? Denmark. Remind me about Denmark. Oh, with that young guy who couldn't dance. <laughs> was that Denmark? Oh, no, that was Sweden. What was Denmark's like? Let me see if I can find what I put about um, some of the others. What do you think of the Cyprus one? I didn't think it was that good. It was all right. But it's fairly generic, I thought. Moldova. I can't remember the Moldova one. Yeah, so some of my tweets, I put kind of proud of Ireland for that gay affirmation in their dance routine. Wouldn't have thought they would have done that. So I was proud of them. I thought, good for you. And I thought he was very cute. Cute singer and the song was nice too. The Dutch had a country and western ditty. Bit bizarre, I thought. But hey ho, takes all sorts. And who did we have? I thought the Israel one looked like she was a YouTuber. And that's not an insult to YouTubers, but she was just she just had that look about her that she would be a YouTuber. So I thought anyway. <laughs> But someone is going to need lozenges after that. The Hungry Song. My God. I bet he didn't have a voice left after that. Sweden I quite liked. But um, I found him a bit annoying. He couldn't dance, could he? He just kept walking up and down and turning and smiling at the camera. Oh, and I've put, there is something quite sexy about men with long hair. <laughs> I did used to like men with long hair. And I'm slightly embarrassed to say that I'm tapping my toe to the check entry. <laughs> Germany, I thought was nice. And that's it, I think. I don't think I put anything else. So they're all I liked. Yes, Hungry gave me a headache. I can't remember the Spanish one. That's nice, Brandon. That's all I've got on there about um, Britain's Got Talent. Uh, not Brit Britain's Got Talent. Eurovision. I just wish they'd... Isn't it time we had a decent song, though? Where the hell did they get that song from? I know what it was meant to be. It was meant to be some sort of anthem type thing, wasn't it? But I just didn't get it. It was, a, it was a bit too much like, who's that girl? Annie Lennox. And I don't like Annie Lennox. It was that type of vibe, I thought. I don't know what the Spain um, act was, I'm afraid. Mm -mm. I've no idea who votes for Eurovision. No idea. I would never vote for it. But then I don't vote for anything, really. To be honest, I just don't. Do, do, do. Where's our Mason tonight? Is Mason not in tonight? Our numbers are dwindling, guys. Where is everybody? I can't remember the Bulgarian one, right? What was it like? can't remember it. Do, 
So have we exhausted that now as well? I don't think this is going to be very long tonight, do you? Hi, Mason. How are you, darling? I hope you're well. Have you had a good week? Right, Mason, did you watch um, Eurovision? What are your thoughts on it? Did you like it? Who did you like? One thing I don't understand is why Australia were, were in it. Because I know they're part of the Commonwealth, but they're not European, are they? So why were they allowed? <laughs> That's nice, Brandon. Okay, well, thanks to you guys. This week also, I've been really busy this week. This week also, I was working on some merch for you guys. What I need to make clear to you is that although it says it's only there for three days it actually is a continuous thing so don't worry if you can't get it then um before monday or whatever they say don't worry about it you will be able to i don't know why they do it i don't know why they say that yeah eastenders was a bit boring this week it was a bit what do you think about um sonia getting back with martin <laughs> yeah that's a good point uh brandon brandon says canada is common is in the commonwealth so they should be allowed to do it as well does anyone know why australia were allowed i didn't understand that at all Somebody liked when Robbie and Rainey, um, um, when he took the money from her. Oh, uh, do you know, I'm sick and tired of Phil Mitchell doing whatever he wants to do in the square. And when he got Robbie to go and spy and, and take the, the files out of the, um, the car showroom. Showroom, it's hardly a showroom, is it? It's a shed. <laughs> but anyway... I just thought, doesn't anyone, why can't anyone say no to Phil Mitchell? He gets right on my nerves. He really does. It's just so horrible. He's like, oh, just go away, you little dweeb. Little dweeby little man. Don't like him. Yeah, I'm the same as you. I do not like him one iota. I agree with that as well, Tam. Don't get back with your ex-husband. That would make be a big mistake. So do you think EastEnders is going downhill again? There are some stories that don't, they don't really interest me. What do you think about um, Sonia and Stacey fighting over Martin? Is that going to happen? <laughs> Hello, Brian. How are you? Nice to see you. Thanks for coming in. Hi, Ollie. Thanks for coming back, darling. We've got the Royal Wedding next week. Is it next week? We had lovely weather today. And I wasn't expecting it because yesterday it was a bit miz 
but today it was lovely really nice I've been tired today it would be taking me vitamins <laughs> And what did you think about this birthday party thing with Kath, with Kathy? I just found that so boring. I'm not interested. I, I'm not over keen about her. I'm not over keen on her. <laughs> just have to have a drink. Don't like Kathy Bill. Hi Mason! What do I think of Halfwit? I think he's an idiot. And I think he's lying, actually. I think he's hiding something. I don't think he is a hero. I think something's happened. And everyone's jumped to the... It's not really his fault, but everyone's jumped to the conclusion that he must have done something... Heroic, but I don't think he has. Yeah, so Brandon says that he's sad for Max, especially as he has lost his granddaughter and is on the verge of possibly losing Ray, uh, Rainy. If it goes wrong, Phil is making it a misery for him. And even before this happened, I hated him more. Yeah, I'm with you, Brandon. What did I think of his brother? Oh, that was a bit of a non-entity, wasn't it, his brother? What was that all about? I didn't like him. But then I don't like drunks. Yeah, I think Halfwit is definitely lying. Yeah, I don't like his brother either, Mason. Well, I did what you suggested. I worked on some merchandise. Have you had a look? Is there anything that you've seen that you like? I'm going to be bringing out some more bits. No, Rye. Hayley's going to sleep with Mick. No. She's a right skank, isn't she? I don't believe that. Why would she sleep with Mick? Yeah. Mick gets on my nerves and the and the cliffhanger was cliche. What was the cliffhanger? Yeah, it was all a bit mm, I know. Yes, Ollie, I bought out some um some merch. It's on Teespring. Let me see if I can find some for you. I'm gonna have to move you around a bit on the computer. See if I can, I don't know if I'll be able to put it down on here. Oh, it's that one there. No. Uh, oh, can't find it on my, on my desktop. Just bear with a minute. Oh, here's one. Uh, I don't know. I don't think it's going to allow me to put this on here. I'll try. Yeah, last week I was working on some merch for you guys because you were so kind and said that you wanted some. No, it's not allowing me to paste it. So I'll get the link. Hi, my son. I have noticed you, my son. Of course I've noticed you. How, how could I not notice you? 
Right, just bear with me one sec. I'm going to try and get this up. Yeah, it's actually come up. I don't believe it. Right, this is my... Oh, how am I going to do this? Right. Okay. Oh. Right, okay. I'm just trying to... Oh, let me copy it now. Come on. Copy. And then go back to there. I'm trying, Ollie. I'm trying to do that now, darling. There. That's my merch store. Where did I find my merch? I have to make it myself. Luckily, I know how to do things like that. So, I've done some things. Oh, right. That's so sweet of you. Um, so, I've done some sayings. Let me see if I can find um, one of the sayings I've done. Uh, I'm still learning how to get around <laughs> this website. <laughs> Not very good at it. Um, hang on a minute. Let me put in Jan. Right, okay. I'm just trying to find this for you and then I'll give you a link, okay? And then I'll I'll put it in the what did I put it under? Jan's reviews. I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this one. Having trouble with the site, actually. A bit annoying, but never mind. Right, somebody asked for... Oh, why has it done that? Hang on a sec. Uh, S X. Hang on, I've just got to sign into Twitter now. All right, not now. And then I'm gonna put that on. It might, it, my computer's just not working properly. It's really annoying. I'm trying to copy and paste this. What's the? Come on. Won't let me um copy and paste it now. How annoying. Why is it doing that? Why let me do that? So annoying. Right, I'm just send. I've just put it onto um my Twitter, Ollie. If you want to have a look on there, because it won't allow me to um copy the link. I was trying to copy the Twitter link. Let's go back. Oh, let me do it this time now. Right, okay. Are you still with me, guys? I sound upset. No, I'm not upset, darling. I'm just a bit tired. Hang on a minute. I can hear... No, that's gone. No, I'm all right, darling. I'm just tired. My, um... No, you don't have five seconds to buy it. It should change automatically. It should change um, automatically. Right, so what have you been saying? No, I don't watch Holby anymore. I used to, but I don't watch it anymore. I haven't watched it for years. No, I was, a, I was a little stressed when I first came on because my other son came round unexpectedly and um, he didn't go until, for, until like nine o'clock. He didn't go until um, like nine o'clock and I was all sort of flustered because I knew that I was expected to be on here. 
at quarter past. What's in the background? Oh, that was the radio I used to do. Well, don't be silly, Mason. I'm fine, darling. Just a bit tired. I've had a, I've had a really lovely day, and I've started planting in my garden, which I love to do. Love planting in the garden. So um, I've got some nice plants in there now. So happy about that. That sounds like you've got a. Um, it sounds like you've got a virus there, Brandon. I have been into the depths of my computer, let me tell you. Oh, driven me crazy. Anyway, so I've done a mug. I've done some tops. And I'm going to be doing some more things as well. Actually, I think I did do a... I'm going off to Aldi somewhere. Hip, 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 hooray. I think I've done a, a top, a T-shirt or a hoodie in that. So just have a look. You've been out in the on your bike in the nice weather. Yay! You used a foldable backpack from Lidl, did you? <laughs> I love riding bikes. When we went to Centre Parks um last year. We, uh, I got a bike out and I was riding around everywhere. I loved it. Do you think Rainey and Corey and Cora are working together to bring down Maximus? Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Yeah, because Cora's sort of disappeared again, hasn't she? Oh, wow. Where are you going, Mason? Mason's off on a school trip. Did you? Oh, that's amazing. Byron, that is amazing. Did you have a good time? I like bath. It's lovely. When was it raining, uh, Rye? It's been glorious here today. Absolutely glorious. Then we might have had a bit of rain this morning. Has very spicy tastes. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful that you guys have met up. That really makes me happy. I think that's really nice. It's a shame that you, you're all so far and wide, isn't it? But I think that's wonderful that you should you should meet up with each other. Oh, I'm going to have to turn this one on. Oh, which channel am, am I going to watch the Royal Wedding? Probably BBC One, because I prefer BBC. I don't like adverts, they really annoy me. Right, what did you say, Mason? Mason said that it'd be two nights stay and a morning there. What? I will be off on a residential looking forward to being 35 feet in the air hanging from a harness. Oh my god, where on earth are you going? Oh, I hope you do get it renewed, Brian. But you know you can still come on here, can't you? But I don't know what the time difference will be. I definitely won't watch ITV then because I can't stand Philip Schofield. Who's doing the BBC one?
Who's doing the, the BBC uh, wedding coverage? <laughs> I'm the same as you, Brandon. I can't stand Phil, uh, Philip Schofield. It doesn't interest me at all. Place in Leicestershire, forgot the name, but will be fun. It will be brilliant. Oh, poor Rye had rain all day. No. You poor thing. We had sunshine. Sunshine. Did anyone see my vlog? I put my vlog out in the week where I went hunting for blueberries and found some. Blueberries? No. <laughs> Bluebells. <laughs> and found some. What? Dermot O'Leary Royal Wedding. What? Dermot O'Leary is doing BBC. Say it isn't so. Please. I can't stand Dermot O'Leary. So you guys probably think I can't stand anyone. That's not true. <laughs> there are some people I like, but there's a lot of people I don't like. Oh, you watched the vlog, did you? Thank you. I like Oray. I liked him on Strictly. What a nice man. What? Rylan is doing BBC? You're having me on? Please don't say that. Oh my God. I'll have to watch Bloomin' ITV then. Yeah, I would rather stick forks in my eyes than watch Dermot O'Leary as well. Dermot's enunciation is so bad. I don't know how he gets any work on TV, to be honest. Right, you've got to be joking me saying that Rylan is doing BBC. If he is, I'm not watching it. <laughs> I'm with Mason. I'd rather drink battery acid than watch Rylan Clark. I agree. I tell you what, my son came earlier and we were talking, we were chatting about bad car drivers and he was telling me about his um, his friend, he's not very good at driving. Myself and, and the team were in hysterics laughing. <laughs> he couldn't stop laughing for ages. Oh God, he tells the best stories. Oh, I'm with you. I'm glad everyone agrees with me that um, they don't want to watch Rylan. They don't want to watch Dermot. I am so with you. <laughs> Piers Morgan blocked you on Twitter, right? <laughs> Why? What did you do to him? He makes me laugh. I love the way he deals with the um, with the trolls on there. Rylan for Strictly Come Dancing. Oh my God. Can you imagine? Please, just go away. Bloody lanky streak of... Do not like him. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. That's me singing along. 
badly. I always sing along badly. It has to be said. Piers is dodgy. Why is Piers dodgy? See, I always take as I find, and I've always found him to be okay. He's never bothered me. I think he takes an awful lot of crap as well from people. It's not very nice, is it? People are always so horrible to him. Yeah, Rylan is like a Ken doll. I, I just couldn't take him seriously after he had his teeth done. I'm sorry. Do you think so, Ollie? Do you think that's why he takes a moral high ground? Maybe he's just a moral person. Maybe that's just how he feels. See, I've never seen that, Ollie. Ollie says that he um, he can be really rude to some people who are just trying to have an honest debate with him. See, I don't see that. All I see is like the other people abusing him and um, you know just being horrible to him, and he just points out their bad spelling, <laughs> which is what I would do. You have to laugh about it, don't you? Really. He does take a lot of stick. He knows a lot of people don't like him for all, you know, various reasons. I, I don't mind him, to be honest. And I haven't seen anything that's made me think, oh, God, what a horrible man. So I follow him and I find him quite amusing, to be honest. I think he's a clever man. And I like clever uh, people. Um, so that's why I follow him. And um, I also feel it can't be very nice to know everybody hates you. Or a lot of people hate you and they just go on there to swear at him. It's not very nice, is it? Oh, that's a really good question, Mason. So Mason says, if I if um YouTube gave me some money to travel anywhere um to go on a holiday to vlog in a foreign country for a week. Where would you choose and why? <sighs> I'm a bit of a travel phobic, so as much as I'd love to say um, somewhere in America, um, I don't know if I could fly that far. I don't like, you know, I'm a bit of a travel phobe. So, being realistic, I would probably say France, because I can just about manage to get to France. Um, so that is why and where, where and why. But if I wasn't a travel, a travel phobe and was quite happy to fly every, anywhere, I've always wanted to go to New Orleans because of the music. I really want to go there and, um, just feel the vibe of, um, New Orleans, the music and... I don't know, I just really love to go there. I, I know it's um, it's got sort of a bad rep for, for various things, um, but just for the music side of it, to, to feel the music vibes in that area, I, I would love it. I'm not sure what to talk about on Wednesday. What would you guys suggest? Have any of you got any ideas? As it just seems us that seem to come in to actually chat. We do get other people watching after it's filmed, but it's just you guys that come in at the moment. So what would you like to chat about? Oh, hi, Claire. 
Thanks for popping in, darling. Yeah, see, I hate flying. How long was the flight to San Francisco then, Claire? I don't know. I'm waiting to hear from them, Mason, is the answer to that. Oh, the royal wedding? Okay. When are they actually getting married? What can we say about it, though? Yeah, we'll miss you, Mason. Yeah, it might be a bit... Yeah, I think we're going to have to expand a bit rather than just talk about the royal wedding. What else? Ten hours? I couldn't see. I couldn't spend ten hours in a plane. I couldn't spend ten hours in a car. Oh, it's on on Saturday morning. What do you guys think? I think she may be pregnant because it all seems to be coming a bit quick, doesn't it? What do you guys think? Yeah, I'm just going to ask if Dwayne's going with you. So we're going to miss Dwayne as well, guys, on the week on the um, Jan's World video. So you'll have to invite some friends along. Give me an idea of what you'd like to talk about, other than the royal wedding. We can talk about that as well, but what what else? Self-confidence, yes. I like that idea, Claire. Claire suggested chatting about self-confidence, self-esteem and how to embrace differences. I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, I do like that a lot, Claire. Will you be joining us? I'm picking my nails. Will you be joining us, Claire, on uh, Wednesday? We do Wednesday. I like that idea. If I can put that all in one sentence. <laughs> Maybe talk about different types of cultures and how they do things differently from us. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go off now anyway, because it's been an hour. So don't worry, Mason. Because I've been tired this weekend. Um, so I'm going to go refresh myself. And um, just say it's been lovely chatting to you all again. And I'll see you very soon. You have a fabulous time, you boys, next week. Be careful. Be careful when you're away. Don't do anything silly. And we'll see you back next Sunday. But hopefully I'll get a midweek live stream up for the rest of you. So come on aboard. Come and see me. And we'll have a laugh and a giggle. Take care of yourselves. Mm.